everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a unboxing slash reveal of a purse that I've had my eye on for a while. I also let go of some things to take the place of this, so stay tuned to see everything I sold um, and the purse that I purchased. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. And hit the like button for this video if you want to see more content like it. Side note. It's May the 4th when I am filming this, so I had to wear my Grogu Baby Yoda shirt. <laughs> okay, so Daisy was with me. She decided she didn't want to be in here, so I let her out of the room, and let's just get on to business. In 2021, I believe, is when this purse came out, and it was something that I saw, and I immediately thought, <gasps> I love that. I need it. I want it. About two or three months after seeing it and thinking that, I actually reached out to Denise, my SA, and she was able to find one for me. And by the time she found it, I had decided, you know what? I don't really need it. I'm just going to put it off, hold off, whatever. I, I'm not going to get it at all is really what I thought. And then in the end, um, here we are probably about a year later and I decided I wanted it. So uh, like I said, I did like let some things go and shifted some things around in order to kind of justify it to myself and feel better about the purchase as I'm trying to be more intentional about what I have in my collection. Um, as I said in some of the videos prior of like my collection and all that, that I am trying to do kind of one in, one out, even sometimes two out, one in, that kind of deal. So again, just being more intentional and mindful about my purchases. Like I said, it's been uh, about a year since I first saw this and wanted it, and the love for it never faded. So um, let me just open it up. I did, I got it today, came in the box, big old box. Uh, let me set this back here. So it came in this box like this, as you guys know, typical, this is like the receipts and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so I did already open it. And I'll tell you why, but I wanted you guys just to see kind of how they package it and all that it comes in this beautiful box. And actually they did tie it up like this. This is always something people are curious what this is. And it's like a little gift card envelope, but I didn't write a gift card to myself. <laughs> Not this time. So then I opened the box up and it was actually, they had it in the um, dust bag. Take that out. I love these boxes. I'm sure you can kind of guess what it is by now, but it is the Speedy Bandeau 20 in the monogram canvas. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> so um, they did have some bubble wrap in it for me. And then it also did come with the lock and keys and it comes in this little lock bag. I have not purchased brand new in a long time from the Louis Vuitton store. So I don't think I've ever purchased anything that came with the lock and key. So I didn't know it comes in this cute little box like this and it's inside of that bag. And then you have these like super shiny keys and the lock here. So it's also wrapped up. I'll just kind of keep it wrapped up because we all know what a lock and keys look like. <laughs> and then it did come with the fuchsia strap. However, as you'll see, there is no fuchsia strap because I received this in the mail. I received this in the mail at my private mailbox and I went and picked it up and I picked it up and I literally opened it, took the strap out, had already gotten a um, quote from Rebag and I sent it on to Rebag for them to purchase it from me. Because I personally won't carry a pink strap, I actually did like the black strap, but that was not available online. And ultimately, I think I would have had a harder time letting go of the black strap because I wear more black and muted colors. So I was kind of glad that wasn't even an option so I can just recoup some of that money right away. Rebag gave me a $450 offer for it. I took it and off it went. So I don't have the strap. I apologize for not having it to show you because I will say the strap that they sent with it is a little bit thinner than I thought it would be. So that's kind of crazy. Inside in this pocket here, you have all the, you know, bells and whistles, tags and whatever that it comes, comes with. So just stuff that back in there. But ultimately, um, this is, this is what this bag looks like. So it has the spot here so you can hang, you know, you can use a strap. I'm so glad that the straps are removable on these. This is just like the perfect size speedy to just run and go. So what did I sell to get this first? Good question. Um, I actually sold, like I said, uh, I had already decided I was going to sell the strap. So that got shipped out today. And yesterday I sold my Empreinte Speedy B20 and the raisin color back to fashion file. You guys might think I'm crazy <laughs> and that's, that's okay. Um, I just really took inventory of my purses and what I was using and I just realized I did not use that on prompt purse like I really intended to originally and I got it because it was the perfect red color and it is still the perfect red color. It's a beautiful bag. So if you were looking at getting it, 
get it. It's beautiful if you like emprunt. I love the emprunt leather. I don't like it for purses for myself um, because I'm too afraid to use it. <laughs> this is like a common theme. This is why I like, let things go so often because I get afraid to use it. But <clears throat> I decided it was a good time to let that purse go and get the monogram version of it that I have been wanting so long. Um, over on Organize My Bag on Instagram, she posts her Speedy 20 in this monogram where she reposts other people's and they're just gorgeous. I don't have, I have a Speedy in the Dami Azor and the Dami Aben and those are the 25. So now I have the Speedy 20 in the monogram. So now I kind of have the trifecta, but in a couple sizes. So I'm super pleased with this purchase. I really, really love it. Side note, it's May the 4th when I am filming this. So I had to wear my Grogu Baby Yoda shirt. <laughs> So I know that this is a little bit into the future and that's because I have some other videos coming out with me swapping my purse into the Speedy 20. Um, again, beautiful purse. And also I apologize because I, f I really forgot to uh, film a video about that purse, specifically the Emprunt Leather one. Um, I apologize for that. However, I'm actually really, I was really happy that I kind of forgot to do that and also forgot to film like unboxing this, the original unboxing because uh, not showing you the strap and all, but I was really glad. I was thinking about it on my way home after I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to film that with the strap. And I was like, you know what? I'm really happy with that because YouTube is not my, it's not my life. It's a hobby. And so it was nice to see that there has become a new balance in my life um, with this being a hobby and being able to do this for fun and just talk to you guys about purses. So, so this purse is available online as I'm filming it. Uh, right now Louis Vuitton has a ton of stuff on their website that has become available all of a sudden. So if you're interested in this purse, go check it out. I'll link everything down below. The pre-loved market for this purse was insane. When I was looking on the pre-loved market, I was like, well, I don't really want the strap. So, you know, let me go look for that. Well, this brand new with the strap is 2100 ish dollars. And then I was selling the strap for 450, so that took it down to about 1700 something. Um, sold the other purse, so overall, I think I ended up spending like 400 ish dollars out of pocket again on this purse. On the pre love market, they were without the strap like $2,300, and I was like, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, no, that just doesn't even make sense. So I went ahead and bought it brand new. Um, the one thing that I don't love about the new purses coming out is they don't have a date code. I, I don't really like that. I don't know where the microchip is in it, but. I'm sure they'd be able to find out Louis Vuitton since it came straight from their boutique. I did check this purse over in the parking lot before I sold the strap just to make sure it was all good and it is. So let me just show you the features of the bag real quick. It's real simple. It's just a open hole purse and it has one slip pocket back here and that is it. No feet, There's no feet on the bottom of it. It does have the two D rings on either side so that you can uh, use a strap on it. And of course, the best thing about this Speedy B20s or well, Speedy Bs that are um, the Emprunt leather was this way for the Speedy B25. Um, they just started doing it on these is that this with the double zipper extends down a little bit further. So you get a little bit more um, mouth opening to the purse. Hopefully they'll start doing that with all their Speedies because that's just a really, really great, great thing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like this purse that Louis Vuitton has put out or do you think it's kind of, you know, silly, um, silly size or whatever? I'm really trying to downsize what I'm carrying. So this to me works really well. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Who knows? Watching and I'll talk to you next. Okay, you guys. So I'll just go ahead. I mean, 2021, I kind of forget what year we're in now. Sometimes two in, two, one out, or sorry, at my um, at my 